This is a complete guide of the latest No Man's Sky expedition, Aquarius. The first thing you want to do is head to the anomaly. Then when you get out of your ship, make sure it's the right ship and the right multi-tool that you want to take with you. So make sure they are selected. And then move your personal refiner into your storage. But only if it's Mark 2, because the Mark 1 you get free at the beginning. Now we can go to the kiosk and start transferring items. If you do not wish to start from the kiosk, you can also start from the play menu, go down to a new save, and then you can select the expedition from there. At the kiosk, hit select equipment, and then start transferring your items. This footage is at 4 times speed, so you can slow it down if you want to see what I brought with me. Then when you got all your stuff, you just start the expedition. As soon as you load in, use your scanner and look for some copper deposits. And when you're heading towards the copper, shoot some plants to get your carbon. Shoot some rocks to get ferret dust. Hit the scanner to see where the dehydrogen is. And of course, mine plenty of that as well. When you get to the copper, start mining. Hit the bumper to make the beam nice and small. Shoot some hazardous plants as well, but especially if you don't use the kiosk because you're going to need plenty of oxygen. And as soon as you get near your ship, you'll get the cast off milestone. Then get into your ship to get the prompt. It's also worth checking all these buildings if you can watch some round about you and any nearby boxes and cases. Now it's time to repair the ship. And you're going to have to create a refiner at this point. Remember you won't get all your stuff until you reach the first jump point. And then we're going to start refining stuff. While we're refining, we can go and mine some more stuff. And if you didn't use the kiosk, it's important that you do a lot of mining and gathering at this point. Then we're going to convert ferrite dust into pure ferrite. Gather more resources. Then we're going to convert carbon into concentrated carbon. and then copper into chromatic metal. And now we're ready to make repairs to the ship. Don't forget to pop your milestones as you go along. Now we're going to make some warp fuel. If you've used the kiosk, one or two will do. If you didn't use the kiosk, you're going to have to make quite a few warp cells. I'd say five to ten to get started. And as you can see, you got your personal refiner, Mark 1. So let's get in a ship and head into space. That will give you the blue yonder milestone. And then you want to head to the space station. Remember to visit each of the space stations at the rendezvous points, but nowhere else, just so you can keep a nice clean log. Then claim the blue yonder milestone to get the hyperdrive. You'll also get the base computer at this point as well.
then get in and out your ship to register the space station. Then we can go into space and make our first jump. After you've made your first jump, you'll notice that normally it's not quite there yet. What you're going to have to do is pulse a little bit. And then up here in your quick menu, so let's call that and head to the anomaly. Then head to the kiosk, interact with it. Prioritizing the things you want to sell and turn into nanites. So at this point, I'm going to replace the Mark 1 with a Mark 2 refiner. And then start converting the tainted metal into nanites. And I want about 5,200 nanites. So this is going to take me quite a bit of time, but luckily I've speeded up the footage. Now I've got enough nanites to create my ship and create my multi-tool. And I have enough storage in my ship to collect all the rest of the items that I need. So let's head to my ship and leave the anomaly. I make a jump to the first rendezvous point. As soon as you get to the first rendezvous point, remember to go to the space station and get in and out your ship to register it. It's also a good time to sell all the items that you don't need and the things you brought with you to sell. Now we can leave the anomaly and head to the rendezvous point. Then head to the rendezvous point to get Gone Fishing 1. At this point you can actually install the tech, but I wouldn't do that. Because when I installed it before claiming the milestone, it went a bit weird. So claim the Gone Fishing milestone first, and then build your fishing rod. And then with the water right next to the rendezvous point, do a bit of fishing and you'll get the Inky Depths Milestone, which is one of the later milestones. And you'll also get Toe in the Water Milestone. So remember to claim those milestones as you go along. And when fishing, don't do anything with the rod until the line has gone perfectly straight. Like so. Then keep a hold of the fire button until the fish pops out the water. And at this point I got hook, line and sinker, another later milestone. Then you want to claim the wading in milestone so you can get the neutron processor. Then of course, make the Neutron Processor. Claim your milestones. Then select Catch of the Day Milestone. And then we're going to cook a fish to do that milestone. Then 
the one that, Milestone, is a bit random so you're probably going to have to fish for quite some while. I aimed for the side of a coast, but eventually I got it. And that's everything from phase one done, so now we can get into our ship and head into space. making sure to select the second rendezvous point milestone. Then when in space, just jump straight there. When you get to the second rendezvous point, go to the space station, get in and out of your ship. Then leave the space station and head to the rendezvous point. you have to get quite close for Gone Fishing too. Then head to the nearest bit of water, I'm going to attach some baits to get Taking the Bait Milestone. I'm going to keep on fishing Eventually, I'll get the message in a bottle. I'll come to that later. I want to carry on doing a little bit more fishing as it's sunny and I'll get the sun on the water milestone. trigger the message in a bottle milestone, you have to unseal the message in a bottle and that milestone will trigger. Of course, don't forget to pop all your milestones. And as you're standing near the water, you can release some of the fishies. And that will give you the Freedom of the Sea milestone. And at this point, you should also get the Exoskiff. So scan for some crystal sulphide and go and get some. Then when you got the crystal sulphide, you want to look for some salt. Now you can build the exoskiff. You can call it in from the quick menu, and not only can you fish from it, but you can store some of your fish for later. And you'll also get your pond skimmer milestone. At this point, I applied some spicy charm bait, which improves catch rarity, but won't help with the radioactive milestone. So I'm going to head to my ship and head into space. Under Materials and Items, under Raw Materials Exotic, if you press X on Uranium, it will help you locate a radioactive planet. So I headed into space and followed that location. But when I got there, I found out that none of the planets that were radioactive had water on them. So I jumped to another system, randomly, and this one did have a water radioactive planet. 
So as you can see, that's the one I jumped to, the one in the middle, the rendezvous point. That's the centre of the galaxy over there. That was the rendezvous point that we were just at. And that's the system we want to get to. As soon as I got there, there was a space battle, so I had to pulse a little bit to get out of the way. Of course, we're looking for the planet with Gamma Root on it. And yes, it's hiding behind that Selenium planet. There it is there, let's go there and land near some water. Oh, it's a good time to install the aqua jets that you probably got as a drop, but I accidentally deleted and I had to buy them. Now it's time to do some fishing. Really, I should call in the exoskiff because that seems to help a bit. You're going to have to do a lot of fishing because, of course, it's all random. Bait dramatically reduces those odds. But by using bait, you might get a later milestone, Myths of the Deep. And eventually you get Feed the Water Milestone. Remember to pop your milestones to get your rewards. And that is Phase 2 done, now it's on to Phase 3. So head into space, go into the galactic map and jump to Phase 3. When you jump to the new rendezvous point, remember to go to the space station and get in and out of your ship. Then head to the planet where the rendezvous point is. That's gone fishing 3 done. Then do a bit of fishing until you get message in a bottle. And then when you got the bottle, remember to unseal it to get the milestone. And then collect that milestone to get the automated trap. Then jump in the water and drill down to get the free diving milestone. Then when you pop that milestone, you get all the underwater building materials that you need. So find a nice location out in the ocean to build your base. Dive into the water, and dive down to the bottom and place your base computer. And then you'll get all your prompts to build your base. You might have to farm the materials as you go along. I seem to have had quite a few of them already. But I'll speed this footage up, me going through the prompts. And then when that milestone pops, what you want to do is dismantle everything there and then delete your base computer. Then reconstruct your base on the land, as you're going to have to spend a little bit of time on this planet. And don't forget to pop your milestones as you go along. And then we're going to place down some automated traps, which is going to take an hour to fill. 
and as you can see here, it doesn't get enough fish to complete that milestone. So if I was you, from a footage a bit later on when I learned my lesson, is I'd put down three or four of these straps. Now I'm going to apply the Bionic Lure Bait, which will increase rarity by 64%. And of course, deploy my exoskiff. The higher the rarity, the longer it will be that you have to hold the fire trigger until the fish gets landed. And as you can see, nearly all the fishies I'm pulling in are quite high ranking. So at this point I decided I'm going to have to make a lot more baits, but I'll get to that in a minute, one task at a time, as I've got to keep on fishing to get that frozen fish a milestone. You'll also find that refining green fish gives you a nice little bit of a fish bits that you can then use as bait. Which only increases rarity a little bit, but has a significant effect on size. It is also worth fishing at night time. As you'll get the night fishing milestone. I converted more fishies into fish bits and used it as bait. And eventually I got the ice cold milestone. Then I headed into space to the anomaly Headed to the back of the anomaly so I can get some lubricant. Then headed to the anomaly teleporter to go to the local space station. Check the trade terminal for uranium. Then used oxygen with uranium to make gamma root. And checked all the traders that are flying in, as I'm going to need a lot of uranium. And I knew traders usually have amino chambers, which is also needed for the high quality bait. Not forgetting to make some creature pellets. Then I headed to this planet. Waited until some creatures had gathered round me and then threw down some creature pellets and collected their poo. As I was waiting for creatures to poo, I was also refining more gamma root. Then eventually, I was able to craft a lot more bionic lures. Which is going to be quite useful for later milestones. Then I headed back to my planet, to my base, and did a bit more fishing in this storm because there's a later milestone with storms related. As the right type of fish is quite random, it's quite important to do this when the storms are around. But as you'll see, I was only able to get two of them, but I'll complete that milestone when we get to that phase.
It's also important to store all your high quality fishies as that will be important for a later milestone. And then we can finally collect all the fishies from our automated trap to get the Lazy Fisherman Milestone. And that is Phase 3 complete. So it's time to get into our ship, head into space, and jump to the fourth rendezvous point. As usual, when you get into the system, head to the space station and get in and out of your ship. Then leave the space station and head to the rendezvous point planet. Then head into the building to trigger Gone Fishing 4. Then find the nearest bit of water to get the message in a bottle milestone. Then after that, what we want to do is get the Pearls of Wisdom milestone by collecting 15 Living Pearls. So select that milestone and then use a scanner to find the Living Pearls. When you get near quite a few of them, the Sweep Scanner will be quite useful. But it's the Pearls of Wisdom milestone done. Of course, hot water is not going to be in this system. So go into space and go into the galactic map. Turn your camera around so it's facing the galactic center. You can see my icon for where I am right now. That's one system I've already tested, but there's nothing there. You want that one, it's 96 light years, so it's F6S water. And the name might be different for you. Of course, this is not a rendezvous point, so you don't have to go to Space Station, just go to Discoveries. And you want this planet here with Ancient Bones and Pyrite. Then head to the planet and look for a big, big chunk of water. Let's go to the shoreline and do some fishing. Of course, coggling in the skiff seems to make things better. Again, you're going to spend quite a bit of time here until you get the right selection of fishies. But eventually, you'll get the seven fishies and the in hot water milestone. Before we carry on with all the milestones in phase four, we're going to head into space and find the Frost Crystal Planet. It's one of the moons that we want. It's hiding behind that planet, so we're going to have to pulse around to the back of it. We're just getting past the planet and you can see it just peeking out there. And there's that moon that we want. A hot moon and it's got phosphorus on it. So let's head there. As soon as you land the planet, look for a phosphorus deposit and then go mine it. When well, you've mined all the phosphorus, scan for some animals because we need to kill them so we can get the Mordite. Now we can craft some spicy chum fish bait which will be useful later on. And go into space and call in the anomaly and head inside. Head to the galactic teleporter. The 
and we want to select space stations and head to Rendezvous 4, which should be marked with the Rendezvous name underneath the main name. When you get to the space station, head outside, and then look for the Gamma Root planet, and head there. Then you want to head to the middle of an ocean. On the new update, it's quite hard to assess what is deep water anymore, but land right in the middle of the ocean and do some fishing. When you cast in, it gives you the depths in the bottom left corner. 85U seems quite deep enough, and again, you're probably going to have to do a lot of fishing, but eventually you're going to pull in a nice colossal fish. So keep on fishing and keep on pulling them out, remembering to keep an eye on your bait. But for all those animals that you killed earlier, you should have plenty of meat. But if you don't, just jump in the water and shoot some fish so you get the salty fishies. And when you apply that, you should get a 13% catch size improvement. And that is the Locker Milestone done. Of course, to finish Phase 4, you have to do the Wading In Milestone, which is landing 100 fish. You should have about 20 yards left to do. You could do this now, but you're really going to finish this up by what you're going to have to do in Phase 5. I did spend a bit of time completing that milestone. You don't have to. It will complete on its own a bit later. But at the same time, you get the Lost Angler's Rig from this milestone. So it might be worth doing, because I'm not entirely sure if that has any effect on what you catch. So to head into space and actually shoot some asteroids, so you got some silver if you wish to create that Lost Angler's Rig. Then you can go into the galactic map and jump to Rendezvous 5. As usual, when you get the rendezvous point, head to the space station and get in and out of your ship. It's also a good time, if you've done it, to get the Lost Angler's Rig and install it. To install it, you're going to have to delete the old one, and then you can install the new one. Then leave the space station and head to the rendezvous planet. When you get to the rendezvous point, land in the water, dive in, and go down to the location. And when you get close enough, Gone Fishing 5 should have triggered. Doesn't pop up, but it's in the bottom right corner. Then swim to the surface, jump on top of your ship and do some fishing. And eventually you should get the message in a bottle, and then all you have to do is pop it open. Then get in your ship and head to some deep sea water. Attach some bait, I went with the Bionic Lure, making sure that Scales of Fire Milestone is selected, and of course, do some fishing. And eventually you'll catch a fish when you're holding the right trigger, it feels like you're holding it for a very long time. That's because you've caught the Angler Legendary Fish, and the Scales of Fire Milestone is complete. There should only be three milestones left. The next one we're going to focus on is Fresh Sail Fresh. So find a beach and call in your skiff. Even though I'm putting that purple one back, really I should sell it, but I've got plenty of S-Class fishies to sell. So collect all your high-ranking fishies. Head into space and head to the space station. Head to Galactic Trade Terminal and sell all your high-ranking fishies. That's the fresh sell fish milestone done. For the abysmal wonder, what we have to do is head to the teleporter. Then 
and head to your base at Rendezvous 3 on the Ice Planet. If you didn't build a base at Rendezvous 3, it's the it's Rendezvous 3. Then as soon as you get to the planet, jump in the water and scan the fishies. It wasn't the first one for me. But there's another one just there, let me zoom in. Now we can actually scan it. And as you can see, the abysmal wonder milestone is done. And this is what it looks like in my catalogue. It might look slightly different for you. And this is the planet, if you can't remember. Next thing we have to do is go into space and call in the anomaly. Head to the galactic teleporter. And we're heading to Rendezvous 4. We could have stayed on that ice planet, but the storms there take too long. And that's the planet that we want to head to, the one with the activated copper with the vile brood detected. Then when you leave the space station, so swing your camera around. There's a planet there, you can see it's got some water on it, so let's head towards the water. And as soon as you land on the planet, make sure you've got lots of spicy chum made up. And apply that to the bait because it helps increase the chances of getting the storm fishies. And of course, do some fishing. But remember, you can't really do any fishing until you see the extreme storm weather warning. So when the extreme storm goes away, just get in your ship and wait around for the next storm to come in. They're quite regular on this planet, so you won't have to wait too long. And I don't know if the case is not, but always when I call in the skiff, it seems to be a lot easier to do the fishing. But don't be under any illusions, you might be spending quite some time on this planet just to get this one last milestone. Especially if you haven't got the two previous ones or any others from any other locations. But there you go, finally, Fins of Thunder, the final milestone is done. And of course, that's also phase five finished. But before I pop those milestones, I'm gonna go up to space, call in the anomaly and go inside. Now I'm at the anomaly, I'm gonna pop all those milestones. And don't forget to collect the final reward, the big square one, at the end. And that's it, the expedition is now complete. I'll just have to accept that. Head towards the kiosk. Transfer all the stuff that I want to keep from the expedition. Press the end expedition. And then get all those extra bonuses transferred over to my main save. And then I have to collect all the items. I don't actually have to, I could leave some of those things till the next time, but I'll just transfer it all into my main save. And then double check with the Quicksilver guy to see if all the rewards are with him. Yep, all the Expedition 15 rewards are there. But the deep sea armor and the aqua stuff seems to be previously collected. I'll have to double check that. But I'm sure it's unlocked at the appearance modifier. I hope you liked the video. And if you did, hit that like and subscribe button. Or on the bell thingy. And of course, thank you for watching. See you all later.